Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another adoption video where I answer the question, why did my real parents or biological parents abandon me? It sounds colder than it is if you look at it in a different way. I mean, some people might think that this is a blessing in disguise. Others might think it is so terrible and sad. It's really the perspective that you look at it. So I'm not gonna say someone's viewpoint is right or wrong because it is not my business. But in this video, I'm just going to share my experience and what I feel like. And it's totally okay if you don't agree if you are adopted as well, or if you're a parent watching this video. Before we get into it, if you are not already subscribed, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would subscribe to my channel and turn the little bell notification on so you know every time I post a video. Also, question of the day, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I would love to know. So starting off, the reason why I was abandoned this is what I believe. I have not talked to my birth parents or the people that birthed me or my real parents or whatever you want to call them. I have not talked to them on the phone and been like, hey, why did you leave me and let other people find me and take me to an orphanage. So I believe, and this is what my parents also believe, and this is how they explained it to me, is that there was a one child policy. So I was born in 1996. My mom came to get me when I was one in 1997. It was a pretty long time ago, so there were differences in the Chinese government at the time and there was an overpopulation issue. From what I understand, there was a one child policy, meaning a family could only have one child. There could not be two children in the home, three children. And maybe if you were like royalty, maybe you could probably have more than one kid. I have no idea, but probably my birth parents came from a place where they weren't very well off. So basically the one child policy was a thing for quite a while. And this is a reason why parents or mothers per se would go and abandon their daughters. Now in Chinese culture, there's a heavy praise upon men. I think they are believed to be the ones to take care of the parents when they get older. And that is why boys are looked upon better than girls. From what I know now, it's funny because they are on a shortage of girls, which I find very interesting. And I guess that's kind of one of those things where you made choices and then there's going to be consequences in the future, um, whether they're good or bad. That leads me to believe that I have a sibling, probably a brother or maybe another sister um, that is biologically related to me. That's really interesting and kind of cool to know. Um, I'm just guessing again, but personally, if we're being honest, I love being an only child. Most people would look at this situation and say, it's really sad and don't you want to meet or know your siblings, your biological siblings? And I mean, honestly, I would say, no, I don't really care. And that's just my personal feeling. I know that there's a lot of adoptees in this community that really feel like they're missing something, which is totally fine. Again, like I do not care. Everyone has their own beliefs, everyone has their own experiences and their feelings, and that is completely fine. If I had the opportunity to, would I say yes? Yeah, I think that would be pretty dope. But other than that, I am I like my life the way it is, and I don't really see that I, or feel that I'm missing something from that. Some people might think it's super sad that I was abandoned, but I see it as a blessing in disguise because I know that if I was in China, I probably would not lead the luxurious lifestyle I do. And I don't even live a luxurious, like I know I have a lot of blessings to be thankful for, um, but it's not on any level that's crazy, crazy. But I have a lot more that I would have if I were in China. And I just, I'm really grateful for that, to be honest. I mean, just knowing me and my character and stuff, I just think that this was where I needed to be in life. Moving on to where I was abandoned. I was abandoned on a busy street in China somewhere. I think it was around Fujian province, Shaman, um, probably that area. I have no idea really. 
um, but it was a busy road and my mom got to see the place where I was abandoned. I don't know, I think she says it's really emotional. Maybe I'll have to ask her um, and I'll leave her response in the comments. But she got to see where I was left and I thought that was really interesting. We were all left in different areas. Um, and parts of the city. I know some people were left at a city hall. One was, I think, left at like a police station or a fire station. I don't know, somewhere where they could be found by someone of importance, like a firefighter or a police officer so they could take the child to where they needed to go, which I thought it was pretty responsible. And what I've also heard um, was that after a baby was left somewhere, take me for example, um, I was left on a busy road, they would set me out, whoever it was, like either the birth parents or someone they probably hired because they don't wanna get in trouble with the Chinese government. Um, they would take and leave the child and then they would go and hide out to make sure that someone found the baby so they wouldn't just be like totally like left there on their own. That's just what I've heard. I don't know if that's exactly the truth, but it kind of does make sense if you think about it. If I wanted to make sure someone was taken care of, I would wait until they were like picked up by someone. Yeah, so that is where I was left and kind of the background behind that. Um, there's tons of reasons why parents, biological parents, give up their children. And I'm sure there was a multitude of facts that played into why my biological parents gave me away. Gave me away, that sounds so sad. <laughs> but they gave me a better opportunity. That's a better way to look at it because again, I wouldn't live the life I have if it wasn't for that um, decision. But there was probably a lot of reasons why they chose the route that they chose, as well as domestic adoptions and other international adoptions. Remember, if you're an adoptee, there is a reason why your birth parents chose that route and there's nothing to feel bad about. It's not your fault, it's just how life is. And I am a big believer in everything happens for a reason. You are put in the place that you're put for a reason and you're supposed to be here and you're supposed to be in the situation you're in to teach you something to learn to reflect and all of that jazz so i think i rambled long enough if you guys have any other questions leave them in the comments down below i would love to know don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye